Hello and welcome to this walkthrough of the OCR AS level Physics A spec uh, sample paper for the breadth in physics paper that's H15601. This is one of the specimen papers provided by OCR uh, free and available to access to all on their website. The paper begins with 20 multiple choice questions and they recommend you spend a maximum of 25 minutes on that section to allow time for the remaining marks. There are 70 marks in total in this question and 90 minutes in which to complete them. So you should spend a little over one minute per mark. Question number one is a question about uncertainties. The table below shows the measurements recorded by a student for a solid metal sphere. The absolute uncertainties in the mass of the sphere and that its radius are also shown. What is the percentage uncertainty in the density of the sphere? Well, the first thing we need to know here is how to calculate the density uh, of, a, of an, any object and the density is calculated density rho is equal to mass divided by volume so we need to know the mass and the volume well we know the mass we know the radius how do we how do we get the volume from the radius well you can refer to your formula sheet and you'll know that v is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Now this is a question about combining uncertainties. In order to find the uncertainty in the density, you need to add together the percentage uncertainties in the mass and in the volume. The percentage uncertainty in the mass is easy for us to calculate. That is the absolute uncertainty 6 grams divided by the quantity which is 100 grams multiplied by 100 to turn it into a percentage, which gives us 6%. Likewise, we can work out the percentage uncertainty in the radius, which is going to be equal to 0 0.08 centimetres, that's the absolute uncertainty, divided by the radius, which is 1.6, the, the quantity, and multiply that by 100, and that will give us a percentage uncertainty of 5%. Now, using that percentage uncertainty in R, we can work out the percentage uncertainty in the volume. Because R is being cubed, it means we must multiply the percentage uncertainty in R by 3. If you'd like to understand better the rules involving combining uncertainties, Please click on the video link that should be appearing on your screen now. So the percentage uncertainty in V is going to be equal to 5%, which is the uncertainty in R, multiplied by 3 because we are cubing the radius, which of course gives us 15%. So finally, we can work out the percentage uncertainty in the density, and that's going to be equal to the percentage uncertainty in the mass plus the percentage uncertainty in the volume. So that's 6% for the mass plus 15% for the volume, and that gives us 21%. So our correct answer is D. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.